and welcome to Math with Bill. My name's Bill, and this is Math. So, in this video, we are looking at mathematical induction, which is the process of proving patterns actually work. And today we're proving the pattern 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus so on and so forth. It's really this 3n minus 1 pattern, that the sum of this pattern is actually equal to n times 3n plus 1, all divided by 2. Whenever you're doing mathematical induction, they should always give you the pattern paired with whatever it should be equal to. Again, it's not finding, this is just proving. Okay? So, there are three basic steps every time you do a mathematical induction. First one is to prove for when n is equal to 1. We've got to make sure that this works at all. Okay? If it fails at 1, we shouldn't be using the, the pattern. Okay? So let's prove it for 1. Okay, so at 1, I'm going to say that the first term of my sequence in this 3n minus 1 would be 3 times 1 minus 1, which is equal to 2. Okay, great. Perfect. So that's the uh, method. Now let's check that against the formula. Okay, Our formula over here says that we should be able to substitute in 1, and now I'm taking directly from this side of the equation, so this method should be equal to formula. On one side we'll use all of the method, on the other side we'll use all of the formula. So first term again, that's going to be 1 times 3 times my 1 plus 1 more all divided by 2, which is really 1 times 4, all divided by 2, which is 2. They match up, that's awesome, because that means we can move on to our next step. Step 2 is take and, you know, substitute the value k for n. Okay, so this one's kind of simple, but it's, it gets pretty important. And what we're basically saying here is step two, is now we've got two plus five plus eight plus out to three times k minus one. Sorry, times three. 3k minus 1 is supposed to be equal to k times 3k plus 1, which is a quantity, all divided by 2. This I've simply taken and substituted all of the n's have now become k's. This maybe isn't uh, really clear as to why we're doing this right now. The method piece uh, is going to come up in our next step, but what I want you to do at this point is to say, great, I've got this, what does this look like when it's expanded out? Okay, so don't, don't have it in its factored form. What we want is really 3k squared plus k all divided by 2. So I took and multiplied out my numerator. That's going to be really helpful now. So, last piece here, step three, is prove for k plus one. So really, k plus one is the next step of the sequence. Okay, so let's, like, let, let's take a look at what that's going to be like, okay? Um, k plus one in our progression of things, the next step after 3n minus 1, or my 3k minus 1, to go to my next step, again I'm adding 3. And so the next step after 3k minus 1, okay, so we've got our 2, 5, 8, so on and so forth, we've got 3 times the k minus 1. If each time we're moving a step of 3, adding 3 each time, 3k1, our next step of plus 3, would bring us to 3k 
plus 2. Okay? And if you took 3k minus 1 and you added 3, you get this 3k plus 2 term. Okay? That means that this is going to be added on to the previous sum. Added on to the previous sum. So that means our former sum, this 3k squared plus k all divided by 2, to bring in our next term, all we need to do is add on this next term, which is 3k plus 2. So a plus 3 times the k value plus 2. Looking at that, that's what we're shooting for. We want to find those two parts. So let's go to our formula. And we want to discern this piece and this piece. So looking at our formula, we're now substituting in, instead of just k, or instead of just the n, or the k over here, now we want to do the quantity of k plus 1. So I've got k plus 1 times 3, and since it says 3 times k, it's really 3 times this quantity. So it's 3 times the k plus 1, plus 1 more, okay? So that's, that's an important piece, all divided by 2. And we're going to simplify this and then start to break it down. So we've got k plus 1, that's fine. 3 times quantity k plus 1 plus 1 more, whoa. Let's figure that out. So what I have here is k plus 1, and then 3 times the k plus 1 is actually 3k plus 3 plus 1 more, all divided by 2, and that comes out to k plus 1 times my 3k plus 4. Again, this is all divided by 2. What I'm going to do is bring that out as a constant multiplier in the front. So it's one half times each of these terms. At this point, I'm going to multiply that binomial together. And what that's going to do for me is this. k times my 3k is going to give me, and I'm moving down here now, 3k squared. k times 4 is 4k, plus another 3k gives me 7k, and 1 times 4 gives me my plus 4. Again, all of this is being multiplied by one half. This is great. This is where we're moving from. Okay? Because what we need now is if we bring this one half multiplier out front, we have a one half times a 3k squared plus k, and then plus 3k plus 2. I've got my one half multiplier. And then I've got a 3k squared. Hey, that matches up really nicely. And now I need it just plus k. So I'm going to take from this 7k just one of those k values and leave the other 6 kind of off to the side. So I'm going to rewrite this as a 1 half times my 3k squared plus k. And now that is the exact last term when we did our substitution plus 6k plus 4. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this 1 half back down. Okay? When I bring my 1 half back down and I'm just simply dividing everything by 2, Because I have a sum in my numerator, I can actually break this fraction from a common fraction to two fractions. My 3k squared plus k, and now I can bring down my sets of parentheses. 3k squared plus k, which is exactly what we needed. And if you look here and simplify, we've got 6k plus 4 divided by 2 which all simplifies out to my 3k squared plus k divided by 2 plus both 6 and 4 can be divisible by 2, or they are divisible by 2, leaving us with 3k plus 2, which
which was the next term. And with that, you've proven that this pattern works. Thanks so much. This is math. My name's Bill. Thanks for watching.